Alright, so these are my ASIC miners, and I have uh, two small rigs running. Um, right now I'm running two laptops. This is uh, my first rig, which is running on an easy PC. Now, I could uh, add just one more of the ASICs to it, and then that's it. It'll cap off because it's not a powered hub. So, but I'm actually just running two on that one right now. I have six on the other hub, which is an Orico hub, and it's a 10 port hub, but I have found that I cannot run them all on one hub, so that's why I'm running two systems. Um, it's very weird because um, the Orico should be able to power all the ASICs, but it, those are running on an ASUS laptop, and for some reason, as soon as I plug in another one, <laughs> they start uh, stealing each other's COM ports. Now I found this on Windows 7. I actually found it on Windows 2003 server because I'm running the Windows 2003 server on my other system. So um, I haven't tried any other operating systems but I haven't quite figured out how to get that to stop happening. So uh, one of the ASICs will grab the other ASICs COM port. And basically it'll take both ASICs offline so then you gotta figure out which one it is and it's just a pain in the butt. So I ended up splitting them down. Um, it seems like they should work fine on this Oracle because it's, pow it's powered, it's got its own power and everything. But uh, apparently something going on with that, but running it off laptops, you know, who knows. So um, I'm trying to build a, a Raspberry Pi computer to run everything, which I've ordered and it's coming in and uh, I'm gonna run one of the systems off that. Uh, probably the bigger system because the little system actually is my gateway to the network. So uh, running the ASICs or not, it's gonna be on 24 seven. So, um, you know, no, no thoughts there. I'm just gonna leave the ASICs on there and let it roll. Um, but uh, so I'm running two laptops at 15 watts a piece, which isn't bad because I don't pay for power um, for these laptops. The laptops are actually running off my solar grid, so they're, it's free power for me. So, and, you know, they just run 24 seven and stay up. So I figure, eh, add a couple more watts, you know, and voila, we're, you know, still not at like 50 watts and it's completely free energy, so it doesn't matter. Um, but uh, I never was into the Bitcoin mining you know I never wanted to build big rigs and stuff like that and really get into it I, I, I knew about Bitcoin mining like you know years ago but with the ASICs it's just like simple plug and play you go it's really inexpensive and I had a little bit of extra money you know put it together even if the system doesn't pay back itself um, it was fun to build so fun to goof with um, if I wasn't doing this I would be building uh, a Raspberry Pi supercomputer and try to get it up to a couple teraflops so you know either way you know it's it's just me goofing around with computers so this is my Bitcoin rig and uh, I'll, it'll probably grow a little bit I'm looking at a couple different other ways to do this I definitely want to get this system all in one uh, the weird thing is finding the right mixture um, for the machine because either one of these laptops is not going to run all the ASICs even on one hub. The weird thing is um, you'll find like a mixture of hardware. Some hardware works, some hardware doesn't. This is a self-powered hub too. This is a Hutu hub that I got off eBay. I think it was like 20 bucks and uh, it works great. It's a great hub. It's a USB 3 hub. It's really fast. Um, self-powered. Um, it ran perfect running six of these and a fan because it was basically what I have running in the back and it ran great for five days and then all of a sudden on the sixth day I rebooted the system to refresh it and uh, booted it back up and then we got A6 steel and other A6 COM ports again so you know I had to ended up getting sick of goofing with it bottom of the hub. Uh, this hub has been running on here for 
longer than five days, which is amazing because it's not screwing up. Um, but I can only run what I have up there, so that's it. You know, six on there, even though there's ten ports. Um, I'm gonna moving that over to the Raspberry Pi system though, and I'm gonna keep this on a small one. But this is my Bitcoin rig, and uh, split the two here uh, running on my gateway is uh, right around uh, 670 mega hashes. So it's not bad, it's actually a little overclocked for the mega hashes, so those two actually run really well. Um, but all together with the other system running, I'm running at, um, at uh, 2,682 mega hashes per second, which is actually pretty good because I'm bringing in uh, roughly around $34, $35 a month, so it's not bad uh, for free you know, money coming in. And you know, I know that that number will drop as uh, as our difficulty factor gets uh, harder in the Bitcoin mining. But uh, so this is my mining rig. You know, that's all there is to it. <laughs> all right, well, you guys take it easy. Have a good one. Peace out.